Bradycardia, a condition in which the heart tends to beat slowly, has become rampant in Kenya owing to changing lifestyles. Esther Wanjiku, who's in her late 60s, was diagnosed with this problem mid last year at a hospital in Ruiru. <laughs> Professor Castren Israel, a cardiologist who has performed over 6,000 operations, examines Wanjiku before the actual surgery. Because yeah. she's too tired. tired. She experienced. Tired. Uh, mm. So I think when I take the heartbeat, mm -hmm. let me see. I will see. I will take. Oh, clack. Yes. Clack. Mm. Clack. Clack. Yeah. So it's in the range of 30 something. Mm -hmm. That means your heart beats only every second, two sec, every two seconds, and that is enough if you're sitting down. Mm -hmm. Patients with such heart defects often experience breathing difficulties, dizziness, and may end up fainting. <laughs> <laughs> Wanjiku is the 38th patient to be fitted with a pacemaker to aid in restoring a heartbeat back to normal. According to cardiologists, the standard heartbeat of a normal human being ranges between 60 to 100 beats per minute. At the theatre, it's first things first. The surgeons have to dress down in the scrubs and clean the area where the pacemaker will be implanted. Time for incision has come and Wanjiku is confident to go through the nerve-breaking procedure. They then cut small incisions of three centimeters beneath the collarbone to get to the vein. The machines in the theater start clocking and the screeching of the monitors raises anxiety around the room. Right, I push it down. That is called something. I am not happy this is too low for me. This is the pacemaker is fitted with a lead and a pulse generator which lies in this small battery, sending impulses down to the heart, stimulating the heartbeat. 69-year-old Elizabeth Wanjiku braved herself to go through the procedure, which took less than 40 minutes. Her heartbeat per minute has now improved to 93 from 30. The whole thing has gone, and she's going to exactly double what she had before, like 90 yeah. beats per minute. See that? So that is exactly what we do with the pacemaker. There should be absolutely no side effects. In fact, uh, the operation itself is not very stressful. It can be done in local anesthesia. As soon as the skin is closed, there should be nothing um, going on anymore. The patient can stand up, he can eat something, and he can walk wherever he wants. Such irregular heartbeats are common among the age group 60 and above. Perhaps one of the most prominent personalities to go through this surgery is Manchester United manager Sir Alex Ferguson, who had an implant at the age of 62 years. Currently, an estimated 1,000 people in Kenya suffer from bradycardia and most end up with a complete heart block. And the cost of the operation, which is about 5 million shillings, is making most patients to shy away. But the key thing about this project is uh, uh, we, for the last five years, uh, have been collaborating between uh, ourselves here in the country, the cardiologists here, and the Kenya Cardiac Society, and the German cardiologists. Our challenge, first of all, is to improve the diagnosis. That's part of what we do by training our doctors here and those who are out in the district hospitals to improve diagnosis and pick those patients. Cardiologists say that once the operation is done, one has to avoid any contact with water around the area for the next 10 days for healing to take place. In the next one hour, Wanjiku, who's been suffering for the past seven months from a low heartbeat, will be back at her feet. She's now looking forward to go home and do what she does best, farming. Brenda Chiriot, Citizen TV, Nairobi.